Rob, let me ask you this. Uh, uh, getting into uh, on the technology side, you guys have come up with time shifting mm -hmm. uh, your linear programming, which is relatively new. Uh, tell us sort of what led to that and where that time shifting exists and about the, the platform and, and maybe how it's being used now. Well, it was um, something that we, that our engineers came up with themselves that allows us to, the user to essentially come into a live event, say the start of Prime Minister's Questions was 15 minutes ago, but they load up their app or they, um, and they come in and it's 15 minutes in, they want to go back to the start of that, it allows them to just rewind straight back to the start or at any point before that. And we just found that the video on demand, the VOD systems we have, that was okay, but it was just taking a long time to get it up and there was that delay and Sky's kind of motto of being first for breaking news, it wasn't, we weren't really being true to our audience that way. And then the problem we had with the live stream was as we talked about before, you can't really rewind that, you can't go back. There's no way to, uh, to clip that up and then keep it for later. So this allows us to keep a, a rewindable live stream that can be up and then it's kept for the next seven days and can be gone back to. And then if we want to clip any of that up if, for, for longer periods, we can do that um, using the VOD systems we have already. Great, so um, just explain, is it on the web or just on the Apple at the iOS moment, or at the moment, or the, At the moment, we, uh, we have an iPad app that uh, it's kind of our, is the first, the pioneering uh, format that we platform that we've done it on. We're now looking at uh, the way that the iPad is possibly leading the developments that we're going to look at for web and for other devices as well because it's been really successful. We found that um, the way we're looking at how people use video has changed, I think, especially since we launched the iPad app. There are two types of uh, video that do really well, what I call impactful and then kind of intense videos. The impactful ones are the live streaming videos. People want to come, see stuff that's happening live. Also that covers UGC, kind of live from our helicopters, those kind of things. And then the other area that they really are interested in is the kind of intense video where we've put a lot of high quality, high production values into it. We've spent a long time producing it bespoke content for the iPad that then sometimes gets run on television as well. But it's just those two formats are, are what we really see as driving the, uh, the video, not just what we're producing for TV, but going that, that extra step in those two areas. So on the tablet, just explain a little bit about how the content is served up. Is, is, are there headlines? Are there you know, uh, slates? Uh, does it lead to other clips? Um, how, is it, how have you programmed for um, the iPad? So we created our own content management system that drives this, um, this app that we developed. And what we did from a starting point was say, what's Sky News good at? We're good at creating and uh, curating and editing video. So we based all of our, uh, what we call events in the iPad, around a central video point. And then around that video, we add the extra content that people are looking for to give them extra depth. So what happens is we have an editor who sits in front of a bank of screens for the times that we run the app where they'll be monitoring up to 40 feeds that are coming into the building, clipping those up live, putting them to air live, then um, writing the captions, writing the headlines, and they drop into a timeline along the app. And there's a secondary view, which is more like a traditional top stories page on a website, where you can go through, tap on a video to watch it, and it will expand up, and the rest of the screen, they can then tap on, they'll see articles, live blogs, interactive graphics, maps, all that kind of context around it that tells them why that bit of video is so important and why we think that's the kind of news that they need to know about. 